Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. If you're here for the first time, I thank you for coming, clicking on that thumbnail. If you are a returning subscriber, I thank you for coming as well, showing your girl some love. I appreciate the love and helping this channel grow. There's room for all of us in this world. You all are amazing. You know, we just have to learn to appreciate one another, one another's opinions. You know, fragrances are subjective, you know, and you know, just enjoy one another and what we all have to bring to this fragrance community. So today we're going to be discussing an amazing fragrance house, you know, as we all know, and this is the house of MFK, Mason Francis Kirkjohn. And you know, he's done some amazing things in the perfume world, not only with his house, but across the board with a lot of other fragrances as well. So we're going to give him credit today where credit is due, y'all. So please like, continue to listen, like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that every time I do upload a video, you'll be the first one to give me your recommendation, comment, feedback, whatever it is that you have to offer that could help your girl's channel out, okay? Or that I, and I can help your channel out in return. So um, also follow me on Instagram. It's Marcemello, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W. We have a lot of fun, do a lot of reels. You know, there's a lot of travel content over there. Um, let me be a source of inspiration for your next travel destination. I absolutely love traveling. Everybody should have, should, should travel at least a couple times in their lifetime. You know, as Americans, I don't believe we travel as much. Um, there are a lot of other, you know, different countries. They travel all over the place. They're very educated as to what's going on in the world. You know, they're very aware and travel brings about awareness. It brings about appreciation. You know, it just brings about a love uh, just for the earth, the planet and the people and just being able to give back when you do travel. You know, just not just traveling um, as far as, you know, enjoying yourself sitting on a beach or a resort. I don't believe in going to resorts, sitting on resorts. I always book like small boutique hotels and you know we'll go from there i like to be with the locals and have fun and just learn about the culture uh, but it also opens your eyes and you know gives you a lot of insight as to what's going on in the country and then you know maybe you can do some volunteering you know be at a school a daycare an orphanage you know a homeless shelter wherever it may be you know travel the world and learn to give back people period. That's what life is all about. So anyway, back to our fragrance channel. <laughs> so um, without further ado, we're going to be getting to the house, into the house of MFK today. And I actually ordered from the site. Um, it was two fragrances were actually in a haul, but I never discussed them. And then I have four full bottles total. And then I have two samples. And then I have a comparison that we're going to be discussing today as well. So please continue to watch, like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells, you know, all that, you know what we do over here. All right. So without further ado, we're going to get into the house of uh, Mason Francis Kirkjohn and, um, We'll, sh well, I'll show you what's, how, did, how it come, came packaged, y'all. So anyway, um, I have to stop saying, so anyways, <laughs> so it came in this really pretty box, you know, very sterile and clean. You know, I love white. It comes with a little thank you card. You can actually, I've never opened it, you know. I've only worn the fragrances twice, each one. The two, the two that I originally, uh, the two that I just ordered. Um, it comes with this cute little postcard, you know, from Paris with love on the back. And then it comes with um, a, something that says formulation. Oh, a withdrawal form actually, you know. I don't know whatever that is, but probably like a return something. Of course, your receipts, you know, and then it comes packaged very nicely, you know, in this tissue paper, you know, and then it, of course, it came in that beautiful red box that I forgot to bring to show you all as well. The box is stunning. You know, the artwork on the box is stunning. It's this beautiful deep red color and it has this gold painting on it, you know, just as the bottle. The bottle is stunning as well. Um, in that... Um, and I actually thought this was pretty cool, y'all. So with my purchase, you know, of uh, uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 x straight sorry, the glare, x straight de Parfum, with my purchase, I received 
which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm actually actually glad I didn't order it from a site. I received um, some scented body cream, and this is Aqua Universe Universalis Universalis. I received a small candle, um, another small candle, Aqua Universalis, and then I received two samples. So I chose Grand Soir, and I chose Oud Satin Mood. You know, everybody talks about that, and we're going to do a comparison, y'all, on the Oud Satin Mood. So I'm really excited. I've never smelled those, y'all. I'm really excited to smell these today. The other full bottles, I have sniffed um, at least twice. So let's go ahead. And, and, you know, when you order from the site, you do get some goodies, which is really great because, you know... It, this no joke. This fragrance is a, it's a complete investment. I don't want to say it costs a pretty penny, you know, and this is an, fragrances are an investment, y'all. It's something that we love, you know, something that we cherish, you know, not cherish, you know, too much, but we do love these things, you know? So anyway, let's get into some of the notes. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540, Extra de Parfum. And this is considered an ambery floral. Um, it's woody, ambery, spicy. It says it has some animalic notes, but I don't get any of that. Um, white floral, sweet, musky, nutty because of the bitter almond inside and fruity. So in the actual notes, you have bitter almond, you have saffron, which I absolutely love. Head over hills for saffron, Egyptian jasmine, cedar. You have ambergris, ambergris, woody notes, and you have musk. So let's go ahead and spray this. I wore this once and I over sprayed it. This one I wore once and I over sprayed it. I sprayed it four times. With this, you all, you only need about two sprays and then you could be done. When I sprayed this four times, it was almost overwhelming and overpowering. Too much of that. Um, I love saffron, but I got my, I'm very sensitive to the notes of saffron. I got a little too much saffron, y'all. There is such a thing, you know, in my world. So, you know, let's go ahead and spray this. You all, you all know I really don't love spraying on test strips. So all of these fragrances, we're going to be spraying on skin. So I need to make sure, you know, only one time, I need to make sure I have some um, real estate, body real estate to uh, smell these fragrances today. So now, I really like this. You know, I do like it. Was it worth it? Um, I guess so, because I really did want to try it and smell it. It was it worth the price though. I think that this could have been a little cheaper. I don't I'm not sure if it was worth the price, you know, cuz it cost cost about 375 US dollars. You know, it's a very good fragrance, you know. It's it smells good, you know. I do have the original and we'll go ahead and get into the original as well. Be like I said, beautiful bottle. It's very stunning and this is a complete investment, you know beautiful you know beautiful on the vanity on the skin um mila on, a, on another fragrance channel another reviewer she kind of said it smelled like um it was a little nostalgic to her and she said it smelled like the little sour the flat candy um the sour flat candy um i forgot they're not candy straws but originally the candy came in straws she said that's what this smelled like and i almost agree with her it smells like the original strawberry um sour candy straws but i think that's the saffron you know you do get that a little bit of that bitter almond which is good and the saffron there's it's woody you know cedar you smell the cedar it's very woody you know, it's a great fragrance. It's very sophisticated. I'm not wearing this on a regular day. I will definitely be wearing this, you know, to any black tie function, you know, a date night out, you know, a just anything, anything that requires. I believe this will really, you know, be good if you're going out for the night, you know, um, a date as a daytime fragrance. I think I would rather choose the original Baccarat Rouge 540 because it's just a little more airy and fresh, you know? So anyway, uh, this is the X, the extra de Parfum. So next, of course, we're gonna get into my baby baby. And this is a uh, Mason Francis Kirk John. This is um, Baccarat Rouge 540, the original, you know? 
I've had this for a while, you know, for almost, probably, oh, almost a year. You know, some people say this smells, um, this smells of a Band-Aid, you know, um, that burnt candy, burnt sugar smell, burnt candy sugar smell. I completely get that. I completely get both. I get the Band-Aid as well. Not a fresh Band-Aid. This smells like a Band-Aid that has been on the skin, that has sat on the skin, that's moist, you know, a little sweet. Because, you know, the skin gives off, like, sweet notes as well, you know, in that sweat. But, yeah, so in this, um, as you all know, you can see I do love it because I have the larger bottle. Um, in this, you have saffron as well. Amazing. You have jasmine, amberwood, ambergris. Um, this is considered an ambery floral. You have fir resin and cedar. You know, we, I don't want to talk about this one too much, but this is definitely a great fragrance, you know, definitely all year long worthy, any type of event worthy. I mean, if you want to go to the gym and spray this maybe once or twice, you can do that as well. You know, leave an amazing sillage trail. This completely warms up on the skin. I actually oversprayed this, y'all. I oversprayed this because you know that's who I am, um, for, I think I sprayed it six times. When I tell you, people were saying they could taste it in their mouth, I could taste it in my mouth, you know? I was like, man, I'm starting to taste this perfume. And they're like, yeah, Mars, what do you have on? Because it's like really potent, it's really strong. So initially when I purchased this, I'm thinking that this is a very light, floral, aromatic, like super just airy fragrance, you know, but as it started to warm up on my skin and dry down, this was beast mode. When I tell you days later, four or five days later, I still smell this on my sweater. It is the truth, y'all. So the extrait is the same way. All I need is two sprays for the extrait and maybe three for this one and I'm done. So this is an amazing fragrance as well. So next we're gonna talk about this one. And this is very soft, but this one has an amazing sillage. The thing about MFK's uh, fragrances, when I tell you that the projection might not be there in the opening, but as it starts to dry down, it becomes more molecular, it warms up on the skin, you know, it starts to really project when there's warmth or heat on the skin or in the atmosphere. It is the truth, y'all, it's good. So. You know, in that, the perfumes are really worth it as well because you really don't need very many sprays. You know, just a couple sprays and you're done, which will allow the fragrance to last longer. So um, next, and this is uh, Jaqueen, you know, this is Gentle Fluidity Gold. I absolutely love this. This almost gives me Mongerlan, um, ex is it the extreme? Mongerlan Intense Vibes, slightly because of the um, it smells a little bit of, what is it, vanilla and, um, I don't know, why can't I think of the note? I don't want to say violet. It's not violet, y'all. I can't think of the note right now. Anyway, maybe I'm a little tired, but, you know, I don't look it, but I am a little tired. So, anyway, Gentle Fluidity Goat. Um, it's more of like an ambery vanilla fragrance, y'all. So, in this, um, the notes, you do have amber, vanilla, you have some wood, woodsy notes. The juniper berries, you do get that little bit of like a light, um, like a dark berry scent in here, but very fresh and floral. Um, you have nutmeg, coriander. This, I actually really, really like. I really wish this, this is really good, y'all, but I kind of wish it was a little deeper. Lavender, that's what I'm thinking about. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word lavender. I was thinking of violet, but yeah, um, you get that lavender, vanilla, kind of a little spicy cake, kind of like the Mongerlan Intense, and that this, this that's what this kind of reminds me of, but of course, this has uh, better performance, you know, better sillage. It's a little more different because of the juniper berries, but I was still getting those vibes when I spray Gentle Fluidity Goat. Um, this is MFK. The bottle is stunning. Absolutely love this. This is like very pretty, sophisticated. This is juicy to me. Um, this is an all-around fragrance. Definitely worth. Um, uh, you could be wear you could wear this in the spring summer. Um, this is definitely worth the the amount of money that I paid. 
uh, for this bottle. I think I purchased this one on Fragrance Buy. I did not purchase this one from the house um, and I got a pretty good deal there. So love this. I recommend this to all women, gentle fluidity goes. I did try to order initially a dupe, um, gentle fluidity gold from the house of Dua and yeah, it didn't really smell like anything. It definitely doesn't smell like this. I actually still have the dupe. Um, maybe I'll use that as a, I don't know, in some cream or something and then layer the real deal on top of that. But yeah, uh, Dua didn't give me what MFK gave me, y'all. There's no comparison, obviously. So um, yeah, this is some good stuff. Let's go ahead and spray this. I'm just gonna smell like MFK today. Yeah, I absolutely love this. You know, you get the vanilla, the juniper berries, you know. It's ambery, it's sweet. There's a little bit of a, you know, cold spiciness to it. Very pretty, delicate, elegant, you know. This fragrance is very, very elegant. Yes, this is Lady in a Bottle right here, Gentle Fluidity Goat. So next we're gonna get into uh, MFK, this is a la, um, Fleur a la Rosé. Sorry, y'all. Um, a la Rosé. And um, this fragrance I actually purchased on Fragrance Buy as well. Um, I do like it, but would I purchase this one again? Out of all of them, probably not because it gave me Rose. If you don't like Rose, this will be a good introduction to Rose uh, because it's really light, like a watery Rose. Um, it's not very strong, super soft. You know, let's go ahead and spray this. In this, let me read you the notes. You have um, Calabrian Bergamot, you have California Orange Bulgarian Rose, you have Gross Violet, I'm sorry, Gross Rose Violet, you have Magnolia, Cedar, and Musk. So let's go ahead and spray this. Um, this is a 30 ml bottle. I think it was $99. This is a very soft, um, sweet, you know, you get, you're getting a little bit of citrus, but you're definitely getting the rose. This is like a real rose, y'all, a real, real rose, you know, like a rose in a fresh garden, you know, like you sprinkle water on a rose. It's not Delina La Rose because Delina La Rose, oops, sorry wardrobe malfunction delina la rose is much sweeter um than this this is just straight up rose with a slight slight citrusness but pretty much all rose with um yeah this is good you know but to me this almost smells like a freshener like a bathroom freshener that i've sprayed before like a febreze you know in the opening now it's starting to get a little softer in the dry now. But yeah, this is definitely an amazing real rose in a bottle. Next, we're gonna get into some samples, y'all. You know, I'm gonna put this on my hand, this cream, to see what it smells like. Just a little bit, so I can let you all know what it smells like. And this is Aqua Universalis. Initially, they asked if I wanted the two samples of Aqua Universalis. Um, and I was like, no, I'll just go ahead and try the lotion and then the candle. The other two samples were complimentary. This is very fresh, you know, a nice hand cream you could put in your purse, a little aquatic. You got, um, you still get a little bit of the MFK vibes a little bit, you know, the DNA. But yeah, I like this. I would actually love to smell the, the fragrance. There's not too much of an oil sheen in this, but you know, it's nice. Let's see what the candle smells like, if it smells like anything, you know, cute little candle. Came in this cute uh, container bottle or glass actually. It actually smells just like the lotion. A little bit of sea notes, aquatic, salty, but with that MFK DNA still. Good, let's see how this, maybe I'll light that tonight, you know. 
a glass of Roscato. Who knows about Roscato? You can get the Roscato. Roscato is amazing, y'all. You can get Roscato from, actually, I think they sell it at Target as well. Um, any of your winery stores, you know, it's a delicious, delicious wine. You can use it for sangria, you know, whatever it is. But, you know, it's great. It's very light. But it, the, the flavor is really delicious. So next we're going to get into which one? Which one first, y'all? Oud Satin Mood or Grand Soir? I heard Grand Soir was uh, masculine. So, you know what? Let's get Grand Soir out the way first because I want to do a comparison on Oud Satin Mood. So, this is how it comes. The bottle was pretty. I almost purchased this just because of the juice and the bottle inside. This juice and that gold is stunning. So let's go ahead and spray this uh, Grand Soir. See if I like it. Oh, it's very masculine. Spicy. You know, I have the notes on Grand Soir. So on Grand Soir, it's considered an ambery fragrance. Yeah, uh, I could see, definitely see this more on a man. You know, it is unisex. You know, if you love spicy, if you love deep, ambery, you know, benzoin. You know, so in this you have amber, you have um, Siam benzoin. You know, you have vanilla, you have tonka bean. Spanish labdomen. I definitely get the tonka bean and the benzoin, you know, the amber, the vanilla, like all of it, but it's blended very well. It's very smooth. But on a man, I would love to smell this on a man, y'all. This is not for me, but it smells really good. Definitely on a man. So next we have Oud Satin Mood. Now in Oud Satin Mood, of course, everyone knows that everyone is comparing this to Nina Ricci's Lextas Rose Intense. So in Oud Satin Mood, you have Bulgarian Rose, you have Turkish Rose. When those, those combinations together, y'all, are divine. You know, everybody's mixing those two roses to just make their fragrance project and smell like an amazing rose. So Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose, Vanilla, you have Agarwood, a little bit of Oud, benzoin and violet so let's get into oud satin moo the dark juice i appreciate them giving out you know samples let's spray this on this finger i smell it already you know i didn't even put my finger up to my nose I smell it, so. It's a little fruity to me. I'm getting um some, of course, the an amazing rose scent. Spiciness for sure. Yeah, this to me, even Oud Satin Mood, to me, it's a little too masculine for me. You know, I like spicy fragrances. You know, but it has to have a little bit of sweetness to it as well. You know, I'm getting bitterness too. Yeah. So, the violet, I think it's the violet. Yeah. That purple, you know, that, that um, deep violet scent. Oud Satin Mood, I really don't like it. Everybody raves about Oud Satin Mood. Now in the opening, I don't like it. Now maybe in the dry down, maybe I'll like it then. So let's go ahead and spray uh, Nina Ricci Rose Lake Sauce. And let's try this, you know. Now I've smelled this before, but I haven't actually worn the fragrance a lot. I've just like sampled it and spread. Oh, the automizer is amazing, y'all. Look at that. Great. Good job. So now in the opening, I'm pretty much getting the same because it smells the same. Yeah. 
you don't get that spiciness and that projecting rosiness as the um, Oud Satin Mood. Let's bring it here. The bottle's beautiful, y'all. We're gonna do a review on my Nina Ricci uh, fragrances. I have about five of them. I'm getting a more of, from the original uh, Oud Satin Mood, I'm getting a little more of an herbaceous smell. And the violet, I really smell. I think I smell more of the violet than I do the rose. You get a little rosy scent, but that violet is taking over. Well, that's what my nose is picking up. Maybe my brain is sensitive. You know, our brains all completely work different, y'all. Um, you know, depending if you've had a stroke or you have like tumors or, you know, not enough sleep or, you know, you're tired or, you know, irritated or, you know, maybe your brain's not picky. It doesn't pick up everything that it needs to pick up when it's not functioning properly. You know, hypertension, you know, artery, you have all, all the plaques and everything in your brain. So, you know, we all might smell something different based on the amount of circulation your brain has because that's where it's coming from. But okay, so in the dry down, I actually like Oud Satin Mood. It's, I like it in the dry down only, but in the opening, I do not like Oud Satin Mood. So I would definitely, I would purchase this. Actually, maybe I wouldn't. I would purchase this. I like it, but I would still like this on a man more, you know? But I do like it. It's not too feminine. It's not too masculine. Boom, it's in the middle. Now, Nina Ricci, in the dry down, she's giving me a little more rose, but it's not as strong as the MFK Oud Satin Mood. But I probably wouldn't purchase it. At all, you know? See, I have to spray this one a little bit more because I'm not getting it. I get more of the violet and a slight uh, rosiness in the Oud Satin Mood. And the herbace herbaceous or the herbs in this or whatever else is in this fragrance or the combination has dried down. I actually like it. If I found Oud Satin Mood at a great price, uh, it has to be a really great price. But at the original price, I probably would not purchase it because it's not like, you know, amazing to me. It's good. But I'm still, yeah, I'm getting that violet, a lot of violet. Yeah, and a little rose. Yeah. So actually, yeah, I think I prefer this one, you know? Yeah, I think I prefer this one, the Nina Ricci Rose Lick Stoss um, over the MFK's Oud Satin Mood. So that is my take on uh, MFK's fragrances, y'all. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You know, I really want to smell, what is it, Aqua Universalis? I really want to smell that one now or sample that one. So I might order a sample because that was, was really, you know, really light, fresh, aquatic, um, slightly a slight sweetness to it, you know, but it smelled like it would be pretty good and great for the summer. So, yeah. Utan Mood is nice, but it's not amazing. It's not great. And I really want to buy something that's completely different and that stands out, you know? That's like no other. But I'm definitely not getting that um, projecting or amazing rose scent that I, I absolutely have grown to love rose. And, you know, I have tons of rose fragrances. Sweet rose, Udi rose, you know, a uh, bitter rose, a uh, baby rose, pink rose, red rose, sexy rose, um, you know, just all kinds of rose. Delicate rose, dainty rose, you know, um, rose fragrances are amazing, y'all. Spicy rose, you know, so anyway, enough of the roses. So that concludes my review. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Have an amazing day. Go out into the world and spread amazing sillage. Do good, be good. 
travel if you can to a country that really needs some assistance and some and some support and you know just learn how to give back everybody all right have a great day love you all bye bye